apparently I really like pink, but people will like tag me in pictures of like pink houses or pink sunsets. My name is Mallory Lucila Rose and I'm a creative. I'm an illustrator and a painter and kind of been doing like a lot of different things. I don't really want to put myself in like a hole of a certain kind of art or creative mind. There's like days where I'll knit, there's days where I'll embroider, there's days where I'll watercolor. Most things that 90 year old ladies do. <laughs> right now I'm a freelance illustrator at Old Navy. So I design children's uh, graphic t-shirts, like little babies and toddlers. Um, translating so far is, I like, want to do so many different things, but with like the, so like taking all those different things you're creating and putting into one thing is, I should slow down, <laughs> draw it out and really process it instead of just like one thing at a time. Um, so I think my inspiration really stems from like something I like, why I like it, and like what I, almost like little parts of my room or my aesthetic in a jacket. And if I'm gonna put those all together, like, am I gonna wear it out? Is it really gonna be something I would wear? Or is it just a bunch of pretty things that I love? So the inspiration really came from kind of taking my aesthetic and who I am into one piece. Super challenging. <laughs> Humor plays a big part of my work. I try not to take myself or my art really too seriously. Um, so I think a lot of things I make, like, yeah, they kind of have the same color. There's like a cohesiveness in that sense, but I think that the underlying humor of like, I have a series of watercolors that are steak paintings. I'm a vegetarian, and I don't even remember the last time I ate steak. But it was like this, these pretty fleshy pinks, and it kind of just happened, and then I was like enjoying it and kind of ran with it. But there's like a humor to that, and you're not taking it too seriously. Like it just is what it is. It's a nice, quick watercolor. It's not trying to be this like rendered, beautiful, you know, Velasquez painting. My biggest challenge is making work, but I think the practice of having gone to art school and graduating, kind of you kind of hit this wall of like, why did I do this? And in order to do it for yourself, you have to continue to do it. So the most important thing I think creatively and keeping that momentum is just making things. Giving up was just hanging out, painting something. And I knew that if I enjoyed making it once, making 10 would make me feel better. Like, and I didn't make 10 like right away. Maybe Two, okay, two turns into three. And keeping that momentum allows you to progress. So setting a long-term goal isn't necessarily something I do, but I know that if I want to move somewhere and grow somewhere, I need to keep doing it. I need to keep trying. And like a lot of people's like, flooring in the city is checkered oh, yeah. and so I always take a picture of my shoes like on the checkered. It makes me so happy, I don't know mm -hmm. why. I got that on there by the way. Oh sweet, thanks. <laughs>